Okay folks, this video is going to be on the Bofang BF888H uh, UHF uh, transceiver and I'm going to show you programming of these radios they're rather basic machines to say the least but uh, we're going to show you that were we, me <laughs> uh, First thing I know is with the manual is it says VHF slash UHF FM transceiver. Well, consider these radios are UHF only. I don't know where the VHF comes into play because they're definitely not that. Uh, it comes in the kit, or it came with this one, anyways. I got this one uh, second hand, done a little job for a buddy of mine yesterday, and uh, they give me a couple of these, give me this kit of two Bofang BF888H UHF radios for doing a little job for them. But in any event, what came with the box, obviously with the box, <laughs> a wall wart, a rather light wall wart at that. So there's not much of anything inside of that. It's like extremely, like it's paper light. Uh, be interesting to see what they did with that. How they got it made. Obviously, it's a switching power supply, but it's really, really, really light. Like, crazy light. The USB charging cable is this one here. It can charge both radios apparently at the same time. Just plugs in a USB port on your computer, or not computer, but on the adapter. I suppose you do it on a computer. And obviously, you charge radios on both of these. Uh, the radios gets charged on the back of the battery. That's the USB port right there. Both radios gets charged there. And the radio itself is fairly light. Not a whole lot of, you know, not a whole lot of weight to it. It's maybe twice the weight of that adapter. It's absolutely, it's really light. So, the radio obviously has its UHF antenna. A rather short UHF antenna at that. Uh, your channel selector here. Your on, off, and volume control here. You have a little uh, LED light for nighttime. You have a your, uh, transmit receive indicator here. Your speaker mic connection will connect to here. Speaker and mic. Uh, you got your belt clip on the back. A PTT switch here. And you got two buttons here. So we're going to whir. Here we go with whir again. I am going to show you how to program the radio with Chirp software using uh, Windows Vista, which is this one here. The computer was actually made for Windows XP. It's an IBM ThinkPad T30. Uh, when I first installed the program on the computer, uh, it would not upload. Well, it'll it'll install, but it wouldn't run. It was a side-by-side -side application or something wasn't working with it, so you got to uh, install the uh, the uh, visual runtime on the computer in order to run this program. So I'm going to show you a little website that you can get the files from uh, because I certainly needed to install that on mine. But what I'll do, the ones that I installed, well, the Chirp software, Chirp Daily 220808, that's the one that I installed on this. And 
So, there's a little bit of information on this sheet, on this page that I had to do to, uh, to run Sherp on Vista. It's a new, uh, newly installed Vista on this one. Um, there's a version of Virtual C++ Runtime that you need to install on the computer in order to run Chirp. And uh, the version that was missing on my computer was actually the same one as in this document. 9.0.21022.8 which is Microsoft uh, Virtual Studio 2008 VC++ 9.0 Service Pack 1. So I had to run that. I had to install that on this computer in order to run Chirp. And I'm running a 32-bit 32, 32 uh, Windows Vista on this here computer. So if you get the program, you install it, and it comes up with something with side by side, then guaranteed your issue is with the uh, is with the uh, Microsoft Virtual Studio 2008. So if you get any kind of error, so a side by side error. Chances are it's a Microsoft Visual Studio. It's a, vid a visual C++ runtime that is missing on your computer. It needs to be installed. So, anyway. So, uh, yeah. Once you get that installed, you can run the program and it should start up. Here you can press new and this is the automatic screen that comes up. The program, the uh, the BF888, it connects to the side jacks on the radio. You don't program it obviously through the USB. You program it through the side port here with your favorite programming cable, whatever that may be. And uh, so what you're going to go to here in the program, you're going to go up and you're going to click radio. And you want to download the information from the radio. So it's going to come up. It's going to ask you what COM port. So if you're using a USB COM port, you obviously whatever port that is. If you're using COM1, you'd use COM1. The Bofang, your vendor, and your model number. Once that's done, you just press OK. Then go up on top. Next out this first one because this first one is, you know, whatever. You don't really need this one, so delete it. And then you're into BF888, and you'll see what's been programmed into the radio. Now I don't know if these come preloaded with these frequencies or not. As you can see, not one of these frequencies is actually on the 70 centimeter amateur radio band. So, obviously, the radio needs to be reprogrammed. So, let's have a little rundown as to what is pre programmed into these things. So, right now, they got 146, 125 on channel 1. Do any of those correspond to anything in this list? I don't think so. So right off the bat, the first frequency that's programmed into that, into this radio, is an illegal frequency. So, 462.225, let's see if that's either a GMRS or FRS frequency. That's not listed there. Third is 462.325.
that's not there. 462425. Nope, not here either. 462525. There either. How about four sixty two six two five? Four sixty two six two five is there. Uh four sixty two seven two five. That one's there. Four sixty two eight two five. Not right there. Four sixty two nine two five. Not there. Four sixty three zero two five. Is not there. Four sixty three one two five. Well, there's no four sixty threes in this list at all. Uh, channel 13, channel 14, 450, 225. Nope, not in the list either. 460, 325. And that's not in the list either. And 469, 950. Not in the list. So the only two frequencies that were either a bit legal at all was channel 6 and channel 7 all the other frequencies that were in this radio are on illegal frequencies that are paid for by commercial users why those frequencies are in this radio is anybody's guess Anyway, we're going to delete what's on this radio. I'm going to save a copy of this for my records. But I'm going to upload 70 centimeter amateur radio frequencies onto this radio. Yeah, this is the frequency list that I made up for this radio. Uh, there's only four channels. as UHF here locally is uh, not... Well, I can't say it's not used. It's... Uh, not a lot of uh, usage, I guess you want to call it. Not use as much as that. But anyway, so channel 1, 444.9 with a plus 5 megahertz offset. 444.6 with a plus 5 megahertz offset. 446 flat, which is a simplex frequency. And 443.2, which is also a simplex frequency. So again, we're going to go up into radio, we're going to upload to radio, it's going to come up with this box again, just press OK, and it will upload it. I'll just do that again, and you should get the uh, green light come on from the front of the radio there, she's programming. There you go. Now, to verify that what I got in here is what's programmed, we'll go to radio again, we'll download, got one, reading it, and then it should open what's programmed into it. Four channel programmed, all the rest are deprogrammed. So there you have it. Um, if you want to change different settings on the radio, you go over here into settings. This is where you can enter, add a voice prompt. You can select your language, either English or Chinese. Obviously, it'll be English. Scan is enabled. Scan mode. 
time or carrier vox uh, vox and inhibit vox and receive low voltage blah 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 as you can see all that there squelch level so if you're in an area when your radio is uh, squelch is always on or green light is always on just come in here on squelch level and just increase it and increase this number here until it goes away so as you know there's two side buttons on the front of this or on the side of this radio but only one of them actually tells you what you can do with it either nothing monitor transmit power or alarm I got to set to a monitor just cuz you know don't want to do anything stupid but that's it now if you want to go into your uh, channel setup say go to channel 4 you can click properties and you get a box come up and you can see more easier to set the uh, frequencies and tones and power and whatever you can click other busy channel lockout which is always good to put on uh, scramble we're not turning on so you press ok and upload to radio and there you have it that's basically how you program the, uh, the Bofang BF888H um, if you're not an amateur radio operator or somebody licensed to use the frequency you by law are not allowed to use these radios so that's for yourself warned folks anyways that's how you program the Bofang BF888H all the best any questions, comments, concerns, whatever Post below. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe. If you liked the video, thumbs up. All the best, folks. 63. We're out of here.